Our next experiment is a respiration model. I'm going to make a respiration model. So, what is respiration? We breathe in and breathe out. This process is called respiration. And do you know what are the organs that help us to breathe? Yes, they are our lungs. We have a pair of lungs. And what are the gases we breathe in and breathe out? We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. So this oxygen goes into the lungs through our nose, right? So our respiratory system consists of our nasal cavity, the trachea or the windpipe and the lungs. So shall we see how our lungs work to help us breathe? For this you will need a plastic bottle. So a transparent plastic bottle. Two balloons that are going to act as our lungs. I told you we have a pair of lungs. You will also need two drinking straws, some cello tape and a pair of scissors. So are you ready to begin? So we will begin by cutting the plastic bottle in half. So make sure you are doing this under your parents supervision. You can cut it in half or one third depending on how big you want your model. So now I have half a bottle, right? So the next step is to make a hole in the bottle cap. So you can use a scissors, a pair of scissors. So there is one hole in the bottle. The next step is to cut the straws. So kindly look carefully how I'm cutting the straws. So I'm making a small cut. So there is a hole in the straw and the next straw I am taking a piece of it, a small piece and make sure to cut it at an angle that is obliquely. So I am inserting the oblique end inside the hole that I had made in the straw. So now we have a Y shaped segment. So I cut it to make sure both the sides are equal and I have a Y shaped segment. The next step is to put the mouth of the balloon over the ends of the Y shaped straw. And now to make sure it is tight, I am using cello tape. You can get the help of your friend for this. So make sure there is no space for the air to escape. So you have to do the same for both the balloons.
so to make sure that the straws are not coming out you can use tape to tape the ends of the straw together so this will make sure that our model will stay intact So now our balloons are ready. I am now inserting the straw inside the bottle that we cut. And then I am placing the cover that is the cover that has a hole in it. I am inserting the straw inside the bottle cover. and now our model is ready so this part of the straw here represents our wind pipe through which the air goes into the balloons which represents our lungs so you can increase or decrease the length of the straw as much as you need now i will blow air into it so let us see what happens when i blow air did you see that so when i blow in it expands and then it contracts so when oxygen when i breathe in oxygen my lungs take in the oxygen and expand and when i breathe out the lungs push out the carbon dioxide and contract so this is how our lungs work so i hope you understood something about our respiratory system and the lungs so once again i will tell you what we did we took a bottle we cut it in half and then we took two balloons and placed them at the edges of two straws and then I hope you remember how we cut the straws to make a Y shaped segment and we inserted it into the bottle and covered it with the bottle cap that we had already drilled a hole in and then when I blow in so when this represents our respiratory system so when we breathe in oxygen the oxygen goes and fills the lungs and therefore it expands and when i breathe out the carbon dioxide comes out thereby the lungs contract so this is how our respiratory system works